All right, your left hand makes a less than. So less than or greater than, that's going to be the open circle. Less than or equal, greater than or equal, that's going to be the closed circle. And then don't forget dashed and solid lines. The dashed is the open, solid is the closed circle. Remember, when you multiply or divide an inequality by a negative number, you must switch the inequality sign. According to plane, the quadrants, use the letter C. Make a C, and that'll tell you how to number them. One, two, three, four. And they're numbered by no Roman numerals there. Set your goals high and don't stop till you get there. Thank you, Bo Jackson. The linear parent function. Memorize it. Y equals X. The number in front of X is the slope. It's 1. If you want to do a visual inspection, you can see it crosses the Y axis at 0. Or since there isn't the letter B there, it's 0. It's nothing. And then the domain. Domain, those are all of our X values, and the range is also our Y. We'll have a little saying for that coming up. Y equals MX plus B. The word for slope, constant rate of change. Be careful with that vocabulary, constant rate of change. Rise over run, you have to rise first and then always run to the right. You can rise or you can fall, but always run to the right. Don't run to the left. And you read your graph from left to right. You can see the green one is positive. The red one is negative. Multiply x times x, then x times negative 6. 3 times x, then 3 times negative 6. And then combine like terms. perimeter of a rectangle, you must add all four sides. So you're going to add the width twice and the length twice. Be careful with that. Systems of linear equations, there's one solution, no solutions, or infinitely many solutions. Parallel lines have equal slopes. The slopes will be the same. So let's check out two equations here that have the same slopes. You'll notice that the y-intercepts are different, but the slopes are the same, making them parallel. They'll never cross each other. Perpendicular lines, flip the slope and switch the sign. only uses one x value or you could use the vertical line test and cross the graph just one time not a function uses an x value more than once you can see that those are repeated x values and when I do the vertical line test see how I cross that graph more than once that makes the graph not a function the x's cannot repeat Dr. XYID, if you write that down and split it up, it will help you here. Domain, those are your X values. The independent variable. Range, those are your Y values. The dependent variable. As the slopes get larger, the lines become steeper. And steeper means it's just getting a little bit harder to climb up that particular line or up the side of the mountain, so to speak. Y equals X squared. Memorize it. It's the quadratic parent. Where a parabola crosses the x-axis, that is a fancy way of saying those are the roots, 
the zeros, the x-intercepts, the solution. So be careful. The test could use any of those vocabulary words, but just remember, it's just where it crosses the x-axis. The independent variable is in the problem. So just think about that. In the problem, independent variable. Multiplying exponents that have the same base, just add the exponents. When you're dividing with exponents that have the same base, you just subtract the exponents. exponent next to an exponent or a power to a power, you just multiply the exponents. Any non-zero number raised to the power of zero is always one. If you have a negative exponent, change the sign and cross the line. 